Hi, uh, welcome to Gouda Butter Great, uh, a cheese review blog. This will be my first review, and I'll be reviewing my personal favorite cheese, Yay Toast. Uh, it is a Norwegian cheese, also known as Brunost, uh, Mesost in Swedish, and Mysiost in Danish. Essentially means brown cheese or whey cheese. The North American version is made of goat cheese as opposed to cow's milk cheese, and that's where the phrase yay toast comes from, which is Norwegian for goat cheese. Uh, the color is sort of a deep golden brown, as you can see. Uh, and to produce it, uh, a mixture of milk, cream, and whey are boiled for a very long period of time in order to reduce them. Uh, and during the reduction process, the heat caramelizes the mixture, and that sort of gives it its distinct caramel color and flavor. Uh, naturally, the more you reduce it, the thicker it gets, and the less reduced version is actually spreadable, and it's called prim. It's a little bit like dolce de leche. Uh, the largest producer of yay toast is Norway. Uh, nutritionally speaking, it is a very very dense cheese. It's high in fat, high in sugar, uh, but uh, it is also very high in vitamins like iron, calcium, and the B vitamin complex. Uh, Taste-wise, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's got very strong caramel undertones, and you can actually taste that signature goaty musk uh, that seems to be inherent in most goat cheeses, like Chev even though they're obviously completely different. Uh, very, very potent. Obviously, the more it's reduced, the stronger the flavor is going to be. I like to consider it the uh, peanut butter of cheeses, uh, just because it's really cloying and stick to your mouth. Uh, and also, as a part of the reduction process, the flavor becomes very, very sweet and concentrated. Uh, Texture-wise, it's going to depend on how long it's been reduced, but this particular yay toast has been reduced for a while, and so it's very thick and fudgy. Uh, again, very stick to the roof of your mouth. Um, Application-wise, uh, because it's so potent, it's honestly really enjoyable just to eat on its own, and I don't consider it to uh, be very versatile. Like, there's not a whole lot that you're going to do with this aside from eating it, uh, just as is. But uh, many people in Norway, for example, eat it for breakfast on crisp bread, and I can see, I guess, pairing it with some tart fruit to get that flavor contrast. Uh, for example, pairing it with Granny Smith apples is great, uh, much like you would pair apples with cheddar, even though. Uh, they're both extremely different cheeses, uh, but both very strong. So, my personal verdict would probably be four out of five stars, and that's because Yay Toast is a very unique and memorable cheese uh, due to its very strong and distinct flavor, but because it's not very versatile, you're going to struggle to find good ways to use it. Uh, if you have any good suggestions for applications of Yay Toast, then please leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks. See ya.